Oh, that was an organic joke. <laughs> I hope <laughs> you are doing quite very well. Um, this is the radical farmer at Organic Farm 7. You know, when you eat coffee, coffee can make you do strange things. <laughs> <laughs> so it brings happiness to you but one of the things actually that made me very happy is the smell of this um, this plant called lavender quite very nice for people that have got insomnia insomnia is having nightmares failing to sleep so lavender tea or putting lavender leaves in your bed is going to help you sleep very well and actually it also works very effective for people that are very hard working Lazy people, they can actually sleep forever when you give them lavender tea. But for the people that are hardworking, it helps in relaxing the body, rejuvenating your body so that you wake up fresh and well rejuvenated. So if you get a plant of lavender and add it to your tea or maybe just plant it around your yard like what I've done. I planted it around the yard and when I'm sleeping, I'm sleepy, I'm, I'm doing some aromatherapy and I'm inhaling lavender which is actually very good for breathing so give it if you have not yet tried it just give it a try you try you tell me that actually it actually works quite very well so today i want to talk about two things not three but two only the two one two two things and these are the most neglected things in the agricultural space so when you want to succeed as a farmer you have to put these things into consideration number one it is the issue of the soil you have to make sure that you work on your soil to build it. It helps in disease resistance, high yield crop, uh, crop production. Uh, it also helps in um, moisture retention and climate, um, climate resistance, meaning it is going to withstand different types of climates. Number one, like in this case, when we have too much water, this is a sloppy place. Since our, our soils have been drilled with cover crops, sun hemp, cowpeas, and um, velvet beans, you can see the leaves of velvet beans they are decomposing we had planted here and we're going to be planting some vegetables this year so if you want to see how to grow vegetables on large scale organically this is the time and we're going to be you get the point we're going to be doing it right now <laughs> so the first thing that you do is you work on yourself this is what we've been doing for the past three years very patient people but in the process we grow things like lavender that don't need a lot of soil nutrition in terms of um, soil fertility but we're also building the soil there's also geranium then since these have fully grown, when we grow our vegetables here, our vegetables, when we grow them here, then they're going to be retaining moisture and all those good, good, good things. So number one, build your soil. Don't be in a hurry to produce before you build your soil. And you see, don't be in a quick fix to use certain things that are work fast, but they leave wrong lasting uh, challenges on your soil. That is not good for you. So after you build your soil, invest in irrigation. Many farmers don't invest in irrigation. There are different types of irrigation. There's drip irrigation, there's um, uh, furrow irrigation, but we talk about modern technology irrigation that is up to date and works well with gravity. We're talking about micro jet sprinklers. They work for vegetables, but especially fruit trees. We also have drip lines that you use uh, for different types of crops. And trust me, this irrigation is effective, efficient, and easy to use and with a very long lifespan. Like for example, micro jets can go up to 50 to 100 years, 50 to 100 years very very effective designed to solve the problems of every farmer even if it is a backyard garden putting five micro jets it will save your time and improve your efficiency of irrigation you just connect to the tap and the pipe runs if you want even um, maybe for your for your bigger garden you can actually do this but for fruit trees you see a micro jet as you can see a micro jet is able to cover a radius of three meters meaning for fruit trees Mostly fruits, roots, they don't go beyond the canopy of the fruits. So if the fruit is like this, the roots won't go further than this. They will be just within the parameters of the, the canopy of the fruit tree. Canopy, you know the radius, right? Eh? The radius is round. This is round, round like this, right, right? Like this. Like this. Some of you have never seen my back. Look at my back. <laughs> So it is round like that. So a, a micro jet, as you can see, it is able to cover a radius of three meters. What does that mean? What that means, it is it is it to sprinkle water around that, enabling the plant to control stress, to be able to absorb nutrients, but at the same time also promote proper absorption of of um, of water. Did you know that each and every root that goes into the ground is connected? 
to a certain branch of the plant and if that branch is not getting enough water it won't be producing enough you may be thinking that i'm cheating you try to cut certain roots on your plant you'll be very shocked that only a part of the plant has dried because that root which supplies there has actually been uh, affected it's like a stroke someone is paralyzed on this end because the part which controls this part has been disturbed even the brain the way the brain oh my friend oh, I'm, I, oh sorry sorry please i want to cover my head <laughs> If the muscle which controls this finger is cut off, this finger won't be functioning very well. So if the roots, the roots of this plant which supply nutrients there are not getting enough nutrients or moisture, you find that they are not going to be performing well. That's why your mango only the flowers from one side. It may be because they are not receiving enough sunlight. So all this science, you can find it organically on the ground when you're doing But sometimes we have got... Uh, uh classroom scientists that come to argue based on the theories they have read theories of other men us we are we are working with the plants we know we can communicate the plants you are studying us we stay with them every day <laughs> how about that one as we stay with them you they have written for you so the point is we have to combine theory and the practicality get on the ground and study for yourself so this plant is my friend if you read about lavender me, I stay with lavender, I talk with lavender, I smell lavender, I sleep with lavender. So I know lavender more than the guys that just read about lavender. So the point is, you see, um, what was I talking about? What did I say? I was talking about two things, two things. So there is one, irrigation. Two, soil. These things, when you work on them, then you are on the ground to progress. I remember quite very well when I started farming, I lost close to 2,000 fruit trees because of not paying attention to detail and also irrigation. I was very excited about the planting. They say, this year I'm planting and I planted. You think I was joking? I planted and I wasn't playing games. And then, and when I was met with reality, my plant dried. I had to get back to square one and I did. Anyway, I don't want to do what I did. I want to do what I'm telling you because this has been tried and tested. I hope you're getting my advice serious. Work on your soil, use cover crops. You can use manure, then irrigation. These things you invest at once and for all, then you keep on progressing and you'll be smiling. Even when you're dead, you can smile. How about that one? <laughs> so I'm wishing you a lovely good evening. If you need these services, if you want maybe irrigation, we'll supply you. We have made mistakes about irrigation. We know how to do it the right way now because we've learned it the hard way. I don't want you to learn it the hard way. So we supply irrigation materials. We work, we can help you with rejuvenating yourself. If you have been following quite well, you know what I'm talking about. So stay blessed and stay organic and see you tomorrow in the morning. Make sure you wake up on time, pray, read your Bible. The Bible, you see, helps the mind in a certain way to do certain things that someone who doesn't read it cannot do. I'm not talking about reading. I'm talking about reading and applying the biblical principles. Very powerful. If they don't help you, they have helped me. So if you don't care, that's your problem. Me, I do. I'll read my Bible and I'll pray to God because he's the creator of everything. And actually, he is the ultimate organic farmer. If you're looking for an example in organic farming, look at what nature has to offer. And there is a God who is actually the God of nature. So stay blessed and stay organic. Thank you. No man tells me that I don't say. I say bye, then I keep on talking. I think I've made the end here. Thank you. <laughs>